Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Skyrim Relic Hunter playthrough. We're uh, paused, of course, because something's about to happen that happened at the end of last time, so I just figured I'd pause it so he wasn't talking during my talking. But yeah, we're in a, in a place somewhere. I don't remember where exactly, but Lucien's about to have his quest thing triggered, so we're just going to let that roll, I guess. That's my resonance fit. Critical Hopefully it doesn't crash this time. <laughs> oh, no. oh dear me, no. I got no, through this no, my no, testing no, yesterday, no. so hopefully it works. I think Inigo has fleas. That's irrelevant. We have a problem. Well, but I you're probably have a right. Problem, which sort of means you do too, I suppose. But look, there is a problem, a big one. What is it? My resonance sphere isn't just attuned to the one I gave you. I also set it up to resonate with one of the consoles back in Doomsbafar. There's a special set of buttons, and in the event of emergency, they can be used to contact me. So, that's what's happened. And it's a critical warning. That means the lab is under attack. Under attack from who? I honestly have no idea. Reeklings? Reavers? Werebears? We won't know until we get there. If you're here, who pressed the button? Ah, now, that is a jolly good question. It was, uh, my assistant. Yes, my assistant. Since when did you have an assistant? Oh, I recruited him in those first few days after we took control of the facility. Have I never mentioned him? Whoops, must have slipped my mind. Anyway, we need to get back there as soon as possible. I dread to think what those intruders might be doing to my poor lab while we're away. Okay. Sounds so Why is he being so suspicious about his assistant? Alright, well, we're in the middle of something, but... It seems kind of important, no? It feels like something urgent, so I think we're gonna go do that first. We'll come back to this place. Since this wasn't really a... important thing at the moment. A, a pressing matter, so to speak. And I'm interested. I think we were just here for a relic or something. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think that's why I put that thing there. Because I thought it was right there. Okay. So we'll come back to Dead Man's Respite. Uh, where is his... Ah. Sorry, you go there because it's in Soul Slide. That's probably why he said Reeklings and such. There's only one place you can find them. Talk to Captain this Galland if you're damn island. Yes. Oh, lantern on. Captain Galland does the business around here. I'm just a ship's mate. I mean, the dragon armor looks cool. Even the scale stuff looks pretty cool. The northern maiden is ship shaped and ready to go. All right. I still don't have a Dragonborn map, so. Give the weird, uh, weird map. I do hope I get a fix for this for my next playthrough. Because, uh, it'd be nice. Maybe I'll just never go to Soul Slime. <laughs> Solves that problem, doesn't it? Alright. It is. I was about to say Sandstorm, but. No, it's an Ash Storm. Of course it is. What on earth is this? That's not my sword. Oh, it's Iris' saber. Oh. Look how much stuff I'm carrying. Piss. I didn't realize. Kaiden? Just, what do you need? I need you to carry some stuff. <laughs> you need me to take some things. Yes, I forgot. Well, we were going into a dungeon with full inventory for some godforsaken reason. Not my best idea. So many different eras. My privateer sword's pretty cool looking. Oh, he's gonna use a staff if I give it to him, isn't he? Don't want that. I doubt he'll wear those. I'll do. All right. Thank you, sir. 
All right. Let's see what's going on. But before we do that, FOV eighty-five. As I have to remember every goddamn time I record this game. It is good you have returned, but it opened without warning, and ah, uh, you won't help. So. Ah. Uh, surprise! I'd introduce you, but we're all already acquainted. In case it isn't obvious, this is Doomsbuffer. Say hello, Doomsbuffer. Hello, Doomsbuffer. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Gets me every time. Hilarious. I can't believe you've done this. Lucian, you should know better. Alright. Wow, this is somewhat awkward. <laughs> Indeed. How are you still alive? The machine you destroyed before was simply a shell. My consciousness is housed deeper within the vicinity and is considerably more durable. Master Flavius constructed me this perambulatory unit as a new interface with the world. It cannot leave the facility, but the level of freedom is gratifying. Are you going to try and kill me again? Negative. Master Flavius has installed new directives preventing me from doing so. Well, that's good, I guess. You have something to say, don't you, Doomsbuffar? Yes. I am sorry. Uh. Sorry for what? Sorry for trying to hurt you and possess your corpse. There we are. That wasn't so hard now, was it? <laughs> oh dear. It would appear we have company. Right. Oh. Ah, here we go. Hey, just watch out it. I was not expecting a Daedra. Ah. Interesting. What's all this then? It would seem that while we have been wasting time and apologies, our more pressing concern has caught up with us. Tell me exactly what's happening here. Master Flavius left me to monitor the facility while he was away with you. During his absence, the facility's oblivion unit activated unexpectedly, releasing a number of my Daedric brethren into the core. Fortunately, the power surge was temporary, and I was successful in closing the data gap before too many were able to come through. However, the laboratory is currently overrun with Daedra, and the constraints Master Flavia has placed on me prevent me from repelling them by force. Thus, I activated the emergency warning, calling the two of you here. See. Now, I suggest you make haste. My less sophisticated brothers and sisters may have already caused considerable damage to Master Flavius' equipment. I will remain here to deal with any further outriders. Good luck, fleshlings. Try not to leak too much blood onto my mechanisms. <laughs> Great. Okay. Mr. Dumsbathar, I would like a word. Oh my god, they work together. I believe in second chances, and my friend Lucian has chosen to give you one. I suggest you do not waste it. Your advice is not required. Perhaps not, but I hope you will listen anyway. Because if you betray my friends, I will personally break you into a thousand tiny pieces and feed them to a horker. This yes. information has been noted. I am glad to hear it. Fantastic. Alright. I don't think feeding... I believe you have data to destroy. Yes, yes. I don't think feeding robot pieces to horkers... It's probably good for the horkers. <laughs> okay. Alright. So we gotta kill some Daedra. So be it. If I could figure out how to get to it, that is, of course. I think my next playthrough, I'm going to get a less weird camera system. Like, it's fine in third person. It has, like, a slow... Like, you'll notice when I go, like... Look how long it takes the camera to, like... Get into position after you, like, rotate. I kind of hate that. 
it's fine, but it's kind of weird at the same time. I'll maybe find some alternate system for it or something. Oh, I'm, I'm already, like, looking for mods for my next playthrough. I got lots that I want. But I can't really do anything until this is over, of course. Which, I mean, we're getting there. So, it's probably not too far off. Also, that it might seem. So, I would say we've done everything that's really important for the Dragonborn Museum, really. Where do I go? Ah, yes, that giant vault store. You do know where you're going, don't you? Yeah. Totally. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Stop this. Well, he got shot right in the knee. He took an arrow to the knee. Oh no. I don't know where that leads. I'll never be an adventurer again. I'm just not going to take iron arrows. Okay, I have a bow somewhere. Oh, I can zoom. Nice. That was easy enough. <laughs> All right, fire salts, frost salts, so much salt. We go this way, right? Yeah. Let's get out our claymore and prepare for death. Hopefully not ours. Come on, so what level are these guys? Level six? It's level six. No wonder they're dying so easily. <clears throat> Is this quest like level locked to a certain low level? Because I'm level uh, what? 41. <laughs> Substantially bigger than 6. What the hell? That's not what I was expecting. Okay, these hurt a bit more. 21. Eh. Ooh. I should probably heal. <laughs> Ouch. Ah, stuck on whatever that is. Any more? Nope. Wonderful. Oh yeah, they carry, like, books. Pretty expensive scroll as well. Scroll paralysis. Actually, I should be looking at these books, see if they're... Yeah, see, that's a, that's a Dragonborn Museum book. Look at this. Indeed. Nice. Okay. Very good. Let's let's open those books and just make sure I get the little eye symbol next to them. Look at that. It even has an audiobook. What doesn't have an audiobook? I think next next time I play this, I won't install the audiobook mod. Because it's been more of a hindrance for me in this uh, <laughs> this series than it has been a helpful thing. Not because it's a bad mod, don't get me wrong. I don't. I just. It stops me from talking if I have to listen to a. You know, an entire book. And it open it, since it pops up when you open any book. That's it. That's obviously, all. you kind of don't. You don't want it all the time. I wish I could toggle it off and on. 
that would be pretty cool. What is killing? Oh. They're not friends? Oh dear. Run away. But if I was playing by myself, like, I wouldn't have to worry about, like, oh my god. Any of that? I would most certainly use it. I could just listen to audiobooks while I'm walking around. It'd be pretty cool. Defeat the Daedra. This thing's pretty cool looking. Excellent some pounding. Oh, kinky. My kind of necklace. Okay. We killed. Killed the things. Is this on? No. What in the world? Hello. You are a handsome chap. Who are you talking to? But I understand. You want me to ride you? I'm afraid you'll have to show me how. Here goes nothing. What? What the hell? <clears throat> so Lucian's horse comes out of an oblivion gate. Well, what do you know? The things you find in a dweller ruin. That's unusual to say the least. So, I have a horse now. What do you think? I think this is witchcraft. You mean you have a Daedra? A Daedra? Oh no, he may have come through the gate, but Clive here isn't a Daedra. Trust me, I can tell. Clive? Yes, Clive. It's his name. Or at least, that's what he told me. The horse told you his name was Clive. Yes. Didn't you hear it? I only heard you. Interesting. It must just be in my head then. I'm still working it out, but Clive is special. He isn't a Daedra, but he's not just an ordinary horse. He and I are linked somehow. I can understand what he's trying to say to me, and he says he wants to travel with us. How convenient. I'm not sure how we'll get him out of here. Oh, Clive says he'll make his own way. He might not always be walking alongside us, but he says whenever I need him, he'll be there. Isn't that handy? I think Clive and I are going to be great friends. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. And thank you for helping me out today. I really am sorry for not telling you about Doomsbathar before, but I couldn't have dealt with the Daedra today without your help. You're a good friend, truly. Now, enough chattering. Where are we off to next? Oh, I think we're off to Dead Men's Respite or whatever. All right, Clive. You, uh, carry on. <laughs> right. That's an interesting way of implementing his horse. So he's like, I don't know how to ride. I don't have a horse. And then all of a sudden, we do his quest and he has a horse. Coming out of a Daedric portal. I'll take it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a unique a unique take on horse quest. Well, I'll give you that. Now, where's the exit? To Dumsbathar. Okay. And he's remade the damn thing that tried to kill us? I don't know. I don't know. I'll trust that. But I guess if he has protocols installed to keep us from getting killed by it. Fine. Uh, what do I get out of here? I hate this. It's so easy to get lost in here. I guess that was the right way, wasn't it? Whoops.
Apparently we need sleep as well. Yeah, I can imagine so. This is the way. Alright. That was a thing. I don't know if there's any more Lucy in Questline or not. I couldn't tell you. Pretty cool, though. This questline has been a lot more interesting than the others. Well, Kaiden's... I guess I, I can't do, really. Because <laughs> I'm not doing the main quest. Inigo's... I thought Inigo had a quest. Like, I vaguely remember one when I was playing e with Inigo, like, years ago. Like, going to some cabin or something. Is it because I just haven't talked to him about it? What is on your mind? Not that at this point I want to do it now, but... Mr. Dragonfly thinks this place is a historian's dream. He is very knowledgeable. He is a dragonfly. You have something to say? What the hell, camera? <laughs> Mind if I ask you something? I am all ears. Okay. All right. That's not it. Yeah, apparently not. We are a pretty good team, I reckon. Oh yeah, we're the A team. Uh, <laughs> let me look at my map. Left. Let me out. Such a, such a damn labyrinth. And this is this is Labyrinth without David Bowie. No good. Uh, here we go. Yes. I'm noticing there's no music in here either. But I'm just gonna let that slide. I don't think it needs music anyway. I had a thought about why some of the places might not have music. I'm using a Skyrim music replacer, of course, which you probably noticed. If you hadn't by now, then uh, you probably need your ears fixed. <laughs> but supposedly I'm using the version that replaces Skyrim music. At least that says that's the version I downloaded, but I thought I didn't download that version. Maybe I'm not using that one, I don't know, but like... Because I've heard Skyrim music, haven't I? Yeah. So maybe I'm, I must not be. But maybe... Maybe this place is trying to play a song that it can't play now because of that or something. I don't know. Or maybe it just doesn't have music. I don't have the answers. Still worth it, though. Listening to all these custom music tracks from Daggerfall and such. Oh. The soundtrack for my next Skyrim playthrough is going to be vastly different. The vibe, in general, is going to be very different. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot darker. And I got some good music and such in mind for it. Ah, fresh air again. Hopefully that'll be the last critical warning I get for quite some time. Yes, I agree with that. What the hell is that? I... I have to investigate this weird glowing green light. I don't know if I've seen this or not, but... Oh, right, it's that. We're in Solstheim. Let's get the hell out of Solstheim. No, thank you. A dragonborn from you. I'm glad I didn't do the Dawnguard and Dragonborn quest lines and stuff in this playthrough, at the very least. I might do the Dawnguard one next time, in my next playthrough. Not the Dragonborn one, though, probably. My next playthrough, I'm doing a Dragonborn... Not a Dragon... Like, I'm not gonna be the Dragonborn. I'm gonna try that. So we won't be using shouts at all. So I'm going to see how that works. But we'll be playing a lot with magic and stuff to make up for the fact we don't have cool shouts or whatever. 
You should be good. Okay. I think we should rest before we go in. Where's my horse? Got my bed. Uh, what's in the sack? I don't know if we still have Rain's shelter. I might, but I think I gave it to... Oh. I'll just use Rain's shelter. Fuck it. <laughs> oh yeah, we can send stuff back from Rain's shelter. Dragon Ball Museum, I think. Careful there, friend. Hi, you're not supposed to be in my tent, guy. Oh, it's gonna be one of those nights, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Uh... Right. I thought there was a thing that allowed you to send stuff back to the museum. I guess I can put stuff in there. Anyway, Kaiden, can you uh, can you leave? We'll just pretend he got out of my tent and didn't just spend the night in my tent. Like oh, you deviant! You know what he's like. Oh, you're here to wake me up. That's so kind of you. Right. It's fine, I don't, I don't know. Oh, that, that's so convenient. It's much more convenient than having to pull a tent out of my horse. I like this tent better, don't get me wrong. It makes more sense for followers. If I was playing solo without a follower, Rain Shelter would be amazing. I guess Rain Shelter is still better, overall. Because you could just be like, well, everybody set up their own tent. And now I'm in my tent, you know. Yes. So it works out quite well, either way. But that one has a lot more features. It's like a little player home. It's pretty neat. Alright, let's finally go through here. Maybe Dragon Claw. Oh shit, here we go again. all these low-level enemies? What is the... What is the difficulty on? Like, what the hell? Master. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. He's getting, he's getting knocked down by a level 6 Draugr? Oh. A ghoul. I love these ghouls. They're super cool. Really helping us. You tell me. I feel better about it. So much history in these stones. Okay. Let's see what we can find in here. There are dead eyes watching us. This is the Bard's Cause quest line, I'm pretty sure. Which is why this is a bard. Ghost. Christ. That hurts. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's gonna be interesting playing a fall. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Skyrim with an animal follower next time as well. Just one. No followers other than like a dog or something. I think that'll be it. I haven't really played that way. I haven't played without followers for ages. Be kind of, kind of cool. Because it doesn't make sense being a thief, assassin kind of character, <laughs> having like a party of people following you. You go. Are you like super low level or something? Forty-one. He's also forty-one. What level are you? I'm smacking them so I can see their bar. Lucy is ten. I think we need to train Lucy or something. Oh, it's this place. Uh. <laughs> I like that. It's the Spider Man song. Uh, guys, turn around. We have. Ow, we have Batman's. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Frank. 
They somehow killed him through the wall. Impressive. I see you. So he's having a whale of a time. What do we have here? Steel dagger? Mm -hmm. I die here. Please drag my body outside. I don't want to end up here permanently. You got it, Inigo. I will not to let you become a Draugr. Khajiit Draugr. How scary. God, it still hit me for half my HP. A buying game. Mm. Nice. Okay. In case the trap is still active. <laughs> Noobs. Oh. It's hitting me. So how do I get this open? Yes. <laughs> Hang on. Ah! Oh, what? I thought for sure there'd be something cool in there. What the hell's with the... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's freaking out, man. Freaking out, man. Spider Zone. Hello. Alexi's key is garbage. Oh yeah, we're gonna get all the things. The thieves, the, the ventures tools as well. Before this is over. We still have a fair amount of those to get. So that's something to do, I guess. Alright, where the hell do I go? I think I was supposed to go down or something. This is where we came in, right? Ah. Sorry. Okay. This way? No, this is the battering ram room. <laughs> Got him again. Gotcha! All the boys is bastard. So. Jon Snow from Game of Thrones style bastard. Speaking of Game of Thrones, I've been watching the House of Dragon show. I'm not gonna spoil it or anything, of course. Like, oh. Very good. If you liked it. If you liked early Game of Thrones, you'll like that. It is very cool. Alrighty. Magicka, some soul gems. You're out of soul gems, I think. Are you 400 for some? Peasanty looking boots. Don't mind if I do. Can't loot him. Sad. Would have liked to. Iron bullshit. I'll never understand why they put so much iron. There's iron everywhere. Orcish armor. Or it's a thousand. Ooh. It's also very heavy, of course. I guess I understand why they put iron armor. If everything was just like orcish and steel and whatnot, then you'd probably, you know, <laughs> just be overgeared at all times. I guess we're going down? I guess I'm happy about it. Guys, come on.
Come on. There you go. Wait, where's Lucy gonna go? <laughs> Did he teleport back up? Skeever tails, all right. Get rid of those. Oh. Damn it. Gotta kick in my ass. No, you. Just kidding. I'll take the helmet. Right. Oh, damn it. Stop this. Shoot him in the back. I do like playing third person. It's just cool to get to see your armor and stuff, you know? Do you think the ancient lords were obsessed with me as well? But, at the same time, it's a lot easier to play in first person, because you can see better. They have their pros and cons. Ooh, an arm. <laughs> Give him a hand, will ya? Oh. Cheeky. Ooh. I had a feeling that looked like a trap. If I close this, does that stop? Ah. Ooh. That was not friendly. It's safe. You may proceed. Behind door number two. Here's Johnny. Hello, Johnny. <laughs> Truly is a coward. Look at her blood. Also, my reinforced coif for 450. Sweet. Door sealed by a magical barrier. Very well. Find the way to break that seal. Maybe we need a literal seal. The Pokemon seal. Oh. Probably not. The hell? Floating steel grid sword. I don't want it, but I just don't want it floating. It's breaking by immersion. Oh shit. I recognize a restless dragger when I see one. Give magic a few days to get the product started. Oh yeah, that's a thing as well. Because I record these in such long periods of time between each other, I kind of forget. <laughs> What we're doing. I should really keep like a like a list on a piece of paper or something, so I remember what's going on. I kind of rely on my memory and my quest log, and my memory sucks. But I haven't really looked at my quest log. What a professional! I know. I surprise even myself. <sighs> Master lock, great. This is going to take a while, I have a feeling. Oh. Oh, I almost had it. I know the the region. Nice. Didn't take long at all. Inner shields. Card of Demons Jack. Dwarven Helmet of Bartering. Oh, Battering, sorry. I was like, why is it called Bartering? But it does bash damage. No, I just can't read. Pro sword, what? 
That's worth some money. Jesus. It's actually a pretty cool looking sword. I think we had this earlier. For Ego, maybe? It has a cool look to it. Maybe we didn't, but I'm pretty sure we'd had one before. For that amount of money, I will sell that bad boy. Hello? Woo! No thank you. <laughs> right to the head. Brutal! You just get staggered instantly in combat. I'm just unable to respond or do anything. Lucy, watch out! Good thing Lucy can't die. <laughs> just Draugr runs up and stabs him in the back. And let's end to Lucian's adventure. What a sad end that would be. I could not imagine play. There's a trap on that chest. I see, I see that. I could not imagine playing like Skyrim or any any Elder Scrolls for that matter with followers that are non-essential. Like it sounds crazy. They would die so easily, especially in these trap dungeons. Like a trap would kill them instantly. I'm sure people do it. I'm actually planning to do it in my next Oblivion playthrough. Because my character's gonna hire like mercenaries, basically. And if they die, they die. Which will be kinda cool. But just like in Skyrim, just having a Titan die to a battering ram trap, like I'd feel bad. <laughs> I don't have that many followers installed. Seems seems wild. But some people like that kind of stuff. Some people play like Iron Man mode, you know? Lost verse. Alright. I wonder if anyone's ever been happy here. In the surroundings. Fortify sneak by 20. Wearing his muffled move silently. That's a really good ring. What am I actually here for? What are we here for? I don't actually remember why I'm here. Uh... No. King Olaf one eye stealing the blade from museum woke to find it gone. Shepard across his tomb would be curious if he had indeed had it. King Olaf one eye. Oh, am I not in the right place? I thought... I think I went to the wrong place, guys. <laughs> I mean, we've done the Bard's College. Oh wait, there's another chamber, maybe. Maybe King Off one I... I'm pretty sure he is here. Somewhere. Oh, there was a magical barrier, wasn't there? Of course. Oh, hello. Have a seat. Oh, we just passed by him somehow. Oh, is he gonna open the barrier for us? Ah! Oh yeah, we have the ruby claw, of course. Alright, it should be in here then. What are we looking for? Ice Blue the Monarch? Yeah. That could be a cool sword. I remember being cool in the older games. Alright, let's let's solve this really difficult puzzle. Where is it? Uh, there it is. It is a wolf. A bird and a wolf. This stonework is fascinating. I saw in somebody's video. I think it was a Sin Gaming or Heavy Burns or something. 
like they had like a certain person like mod it. like when you activated this they would the character would physically move it and you saw you like watch them move the ring in first person or third person sorry just kind of cool i was like huh i hadn't considered like you're putting your hands on here and you're like pulling it sideways to rotate it you know i hadn't really thought about how they're moving it it just seeing it in action it's like oh yeah that actually makes sense That was pretty cool. I like watching Sim Gaming and Heavy Burns videos. Like, they're mod... Basically mod reviewers for Skyrim. But, like, they do such cool mod reviews. Like, they're stylish and well done and... They're cool to watch even if you don't play Skyrim, honestly. I think. Oh. Oh my. I don't remember this, like, being like this cool. We gotta run the gauntlet. I wonder who the ghost is supposed to be. We have to fight every one of these? That's crazy. This is awesome. You have a death wish. I, I have, like, I did. I definitely did the Bard's College in my Necromancer playthrough, and I don't remember this being cool. <laughs> but I'm fairly sure I don't have a mod to change it, so maybe it was. It's been a while, to be fair. I don't remember a lot of things. Svechnir. I don't know who he is, but he's here to help us whoop some ass. Oof. <laughs> I missed. Do all the looting after him, I think. How many Draugr? It's a word wall as well. Oh, jeez. I'm not a bard. Let me live. He has the ice blazer mark on him. Here, finish him. I can't move. I want to look at this thing and get that thing and do all the thing. These aren't these aren't worth a lot, to be fair. All right, he can deal with that. What do we got? Fury Whirlwind Sprint. Oh! Interesting. Second level of Whirlwind Sprint. Let's see how far we can go now. What? Good shit. Pretty far! Very cool. Alright, well, let's have a look at the thing we came for. I suppose the monarch. It's a great sword. <gasps> it's a good great sword. I don't know. Maybe not. Well, I can upgrade it, so maybe. Oh, it's sick, too. I might actually use this. I can make a replica. Change it with the Soul of Frost Monarch. The Ice Blade freezes all who feel its blade. I think if I upgrade this, it would be probably similar to a Dragon Steel Great Sword. Even if it isn't, it's still cool. And it goes with my armor better, to be fair. 
This is fucking cool. Oh, it's a gift. Alrighty, I accept. Just loot all these dead things. You're not gonna need your gold. Forgot magic meteor shower. It's a pretty cool spell, but we're not a wizard, so. No, thank you. Shields of Yisgrimor. <laughs> ah, piss. Uh, not you. Inigo, please come here. Something troubling you? The carry weight. Look at all those lockpicks. I am jealous. I don't want to give him my sword. Wait, what? I have the shield of Raymond Cyrodiil. Raymond, whatever. Why doesn't he have this? Oh, this is his inventory. That's <laughs> because why doesn't he have that? He does have that. Where am I? Oh no, take that off. Why is he wearing that over that? Seventy-seven. Thirty-five. Okay. I had the same problem in uh, Enderall. Like, my, my follower in Enderall has, like, a really, really OP helmet. Yet he'll put on something less good when I give it to him. It, it makes no sense to me. He actually prefers light armor, which is why he keeps putting on these things, which is annoying. But, I mean, see, the Dwarven helmet wasn't light armor, so I don't know why he's wearing it. Whatever. I have your back, my friend. He's fine. Yeah, it's not really a big deal if I don't loot all these. Not gonna be missing out on much. I got the the main hall. I didn't want that. Kind of clicked by accident. Is there a chest as well? There might be. It usually is. Probably in the next room, right? We got the key to like King Olaf's treasury or whatever. This place smells huh. troublesome. It may be a good idea to ready our weapons. This thing looks cool. If you'd asked, I'd ah, my that's a nice look to it. Oh, God damn it. Okay. <laughs> More heavy shit. There we are. I'll take that too, even though it's garbage. Because I'm about to go sell anyway. AKA throw stuff in a box and let it sell itself. I think we do need to go back to the museum. We also have some things to deposit. And I want to upgrade my sword. And good job I don't frighten easily. What's this? Because if I did, it has like a special name. Are you? This place would be terrifying. Ooh, a fancy elf, elven blade. I want to see it in some better lighting. I don't think there's gonna be any enemies. If there is, well, they can deal with it. Any hammer. Fuck. So much heavy stuff. <laughs> but we're at the end, so that's fine. I should probably save. It has been a while, and I completely just thought. I didn't think about it. Mr. Dragonfly hopes his jar does not get smashed down here. That's the wrong way! I remember stepping on that earlier. Alright, well that was a... That was worth. That was a good one. Ah, freedom. Yeah, let's have a look at the sword. I think we have the shield effect on us, which makes it look weird. There we go. How about I don't have that in my hand? Uh, whatever. That's kind of cool. I like this battle axe, though. I'm not going to use it or anything, but it has an awesome look to it. Look at that thing. 
Looks badass. It's got a blade on the top. It's got a thing for piercing on the back. And it's got the giant blade on the front. Very nice. Let's have a look at the Ice Blade of the Monarch. In good lighting. I'm glad it's a Claymore. I was expecting it to not be. Be pretty happy about that. It reminds me of Aragorn sort of a bit from Lord of the Rings. Obviously, a bit more fantasy with the glowing runes on the thing, but as the hilt kind of reminds me of it a bit. Maybe not the bottom. It's cool though. It goes nicely, and I'm sure it's pretty good. Unless it's immune to frost, whatever I'm fighting, I guess. All right. Well, I think we've had enough adventure for today. Let's go back to the museum. Do some some admin. That's the blue palace. First thing I'm going to do is try and make a copy of the sword. We're going to give King Olaf's verse to the uh, to the museum. I don't really care about. The, I'm not going to do the uh, Bard's College, so. <laughs> I don't mind putting the book in the museum. At all. Seven hundred sixty-four in donations. Ooh. Spicy. I mean, that should probably be in the... safe house area. Oh, the Ring of Surroundings is a special thing. Well, you could have it. I'm not sneaky, so whatever. Silver ring of two steel ingots. That seems pretty reasonable. Okay. Let's use the curator's guide then. New location, new location can now be reached using the curator's guide. What? Armory West Wing, Armory East Wing, Natural Science. Oh, it's a planetarium, of course. We'll go there next time. I want to see what the hell that's about. And continue that, if there is anything to continue. I want to go safe house first. Our character's been up forever. I should probably sleep. We'll sleep first. Actually, no, we'll put stuff in the box first. What do you need? Actually, you know what? I'll do that. I'll do all that off camera because it'll be real tedious and annoying. It'll probably take like twenty minutes. What we'll do is just we'll make a replica of the sword for now. I'll do all the kind of real tedious shit in between this episode and the next one, and then we'll put the stuff in the museum. Which I'll probably do off camera as well, just to save time. Is this? No, this. There we go. Yeah. Alright, now let's see what we need to upgrade it. I display the monarch. It takes. It goes up to 85. That is. More or less, that is better than Dragon Seal. E. That makes me pleased. 23. Almost weighs about the same, that's good. Perfect. Alright, what did I need? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I already have one. Nice. How convenient is that? I could, um, I could over double the price of this by upgrading it. I don't need to. And also, we don't need the smithing ex experience anymore, so... Kind of pointless. Alright, let's let's do this. Take that off there. Display of the Monarch. Hell yeah. We could also make our own, like, custom version. If we want to. Just making copies. Oh shit, it, has, it doesn't have the glow. That's cool. So if you wanted the model, but you wanted to add like your own enchantment to it, you could. 
I can make Ice Blade and Monarch for everybody! I mean, obviously it looks pretty cool with the, uh, the glowing, though. Alright. Wait, what? My rest icon went away. Did we sleep? Oh, we did sleep, didn't we? <laughs> I had forgotten. Right. Well, then never mind. Let's put some more cards in this box. The box of sadness, because we'll never actually get a card collection enough to make something out of it before the end, I have no doubt. Is there money in here? Jesus Christ. Apparently so. <laughs> I've forgotten. 50,000 gold! I have 29 on me. Alright, let's put... Let's just put all of it in there. Because we're gonna... We're gonna get more. I have 79,000 gold. Oh, I love gold! I think even though I bought a castle and all that, we're gonna still be lord of the castle. But I'm just gonna use this as a player house to the end. Is where your heart is, right? Because it's just, or is it where you hang your hat? It's just too inconvenient for me to actually move. Should we be giving hats to the homeless? And the fact we're doing the Dragonborn, like, gallery stuff anyway, makes sense to stay here, doesn't it? All right. Well, it's time to have a time to have a rest. Let's go have a seat. Think about our life choices. There he is. Beautiful. I want my camera zoom out. Fuck's <laughs> sake. Whatever. Just... Yes, we'll talk to Kaiden. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Until next time, we will do some stuff. I think we're gonna obviously do the planetarium. We will have a look for maybe one of the other relics, potentially. Uh, there's probably some of these we could do. Perhaps. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can get. Or we'll hunt thieves tools, or not thieves tools, uh, explorers tools. Got plenty to do still, and uh, I will do it. Very good, all right. Catch you in the next one.